Welcome to another short video. In this video I'm gonna introduce you to GitHub. GitHub itself is also an exchange like for example Binance or Coinbase or any other exchange but the difference here is they are massively integrating XRP for payment streams and also they support having your own non-custodial wallets. So if you go to wallet, you have the ability and click here on the tab here and can click on add wallet and you can decide if you want a hosted wallet. So if you use a hosted wallet, you don't have to pay the minimum reserve because they have a pooled wallet. You can uh, create a normal um, XRP ledger wallet, so a non-custodial wallet, uh, but the minimum reserve is 20 and you know that. Uh, the last part is you can also import a wallet. So you can go to import wallet, uh, then would have to enter a password here. So this would be the data password. Uh, and now you could, for example, also Im import the C, so the secret key of one account and import it into gate up here. Um, right, and same goes, for example, test. I'm going to call it test wallet here. And now I, a address is going to be generated and I can enable it uh, as soon as I well, send a payment to that address. So it's like, for example, like in some, um, if, you, if you create a, an account, it's like here the same principle. Uh, what else is there? So I'm I have a hosted wallet. I also tried using the integration with Coil, but it will come back to it later. I've also been testing a little around with sending and uh, sending XRP. So one thing that is very interesting, they use on GitHub all the issued currencies themselves. So they have a issued currency for Bitcoin, they've got an issued currency for Ethereum, and a issued currency for Dash, for Bitcoin, Ethereum Classic, Litecoin, Spark, and so on. And also for euros. So, for example, if you would add um, euros, and I could, for example, select um, EU Bank, and I could send funds to this address here. And if I would do that, they would issue me their GitHub Euro uh, euros, more or less. And I could also send it to another um, XOP wallet address, which has a trust line for euros. And that's, yeah, it's a very cool exchange. So they also have their own trading part here where you can use the decentralized exchange. So you're not using, like I said, it's this part here is decentralized exchange. You can, for example, exchange XRP to US dollars or XRP to any other issued currency. XRP to Euro, for example. Um, and they're also currently working on an integration for the SUM app. I think they already uh, are done with that. I think they are going to roll it out well, quite soon, I think. Um, what else there? You can see the rates here. Okay, so for 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 each uh, trading pair. Um, what else is there? Yeah, I can go to trades. There you have the ability to do more advanced trades. For example, from casino coin to euro. That one. So as we know, th there is not that much liquidity, but it still works. So for example, you can go from casino coin to euro. You can go from US dollars to euros, and so on. So yeah, it's quite cool. So I've got lots of trading pairs here. Um, what else is there? Then you can select um, if you want to use your uh, hosted wallet or your own uh, custodial wallet, so non-custodial wallet. Um, right, with analytics there. So how your okay, how your portfolio has been doing over the time. Uh, this this website needs KYC, so you have to um, identify yourself uh, and all of that. But Aside, because uh, you can send and receive euros, so I guess that's they have to do that due to regulations. And like I said, they're issuing the euros themselves and the US dollars. Um, but yeah, it's very cool. So anything else there, you can manage all of that. Their host of wallets. Um, right, so it's overall, it's very cool. Um, I also, as far as the implementation goes, as far as I'm concerned, it's, it's, it's completely... Um, well, it's secured in a way, for example, also with your um, with your non-custodial wallets you have there that you don't have access. So at the beginning, you ca you get your backup keys, and if you fail to, if you ever whatever forget your password, they can reset uh, reset it or do anything about it. And uh, right, yeah, that's everything there is to say about Coil in as far as I can remember here. So we'll also quickly do the Ripple charts. Um, so there's a website called uh, Charts. 
So yeah, it's xopcharts.ripple.com. On the website, you can see the trading pairs and how much liquidity there is. So there is quite a lot. You can see here the the um, XRP ledger stats, right? And there should be also the XRP ledger trade volume there. So 4.3 um, billion U uh, oh my bad million US dollars is the uh, trading volume here in all pairs on the XRP ledger. So this might increase over time. At least I hope so. And right, that's basically it so far. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video.